Hi there, my name is Jamie, and I'm a designer for Creator and LEGO Direct. In the beginning, there was the wheel, and the wheel was round, and it was good. And from the wheel came the column. Actually, not really, <laughs> but it's just fun having wheels here. We've got way too many toys in this place. But anyways, these are columns. We've got lots of columns in Legoland. If you've ever been to Legoland, which I go way too many times, if you've ever been there, you've probably seen really tall buildings, really big buildings, and they've always got these columns for the really big fancy ones. I'm today gonna show you how do they do their favorite column with some quick and easy steps. All you need are four bricks to make that column. Pretty simple. We got a one by eight tile, we got a two by two plate, and then we got a jumper plate, and this guy right here, he's one of our favorite elements. We have another version of him that's called an Erling. It's the only Lego element named after a Lego designer. So I call this the Super Erling because I give him credit for everything. But anyways, this guy has studs all over the place. So if you get a bunch of these guys, you can start stacking them together and making your column. First, you start by taking this jumper plate. And you get a bunch of his friends here. You get actually eight of them. So if you get the eight jumper plates here, and you line them all up nice and neat. You can put them together with one simple snap of this one by eight plate. You do four of those, and it's like a cooking show. I've already got some prepared, and then you put them off to the side. Then you take our little two by two plates. You stack them one on top of each other, and then you take my super earling friend, and you get two of them. You put one on one corner, and then you put one on the other corner. Just like that, really simple. And then you make four of them. Here's the simple, easy part. You have them jump around like jumping beans, <laughs> and you grab it, and you stack one on top of the other, then you put another one, and then you put another one. You don't have to, but sometimes it's nice to put them so that way they kind of do a little zigzag pattern. Just makes it a little bit stronger. Then you take these guys, and these are the sides of your columns. So you attach one on here, nice and tight. Then you attach another one, right here, nice and tight, and then you attach another one on this side, and this is where those super earlings come in, because they get studs all over the place, and they allow you to attach stuff all around. And then you got a nice, complete column, almost like a Fred Flintstone tire on his car. But what you can do with it now, is you can make this little column, take off the top, put on a whole other layer, and wow, now he's right up there with the big boys. So that's your simple introduction to columns. I hope you guys have fun with it.